welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the trick which is related to the date and time field so here as you can see that uh, i have uh, uh, this main page which i have used in my previous videos uh, tutorial so here only i have added one more field called date and time and uh, here uh, you can see that it's a date time field for example if i set out any other date let's say and put down the cursor here so you can see that system has updated the date as well as the time along with it right so this is how an ideal way like uh, whenever we want to give our users any of the field where they want to input both date and time so the simplest way is that we can just create a field called uh, date time data type and this data type allows the user to input both date and time in that particular field okay and there is no problem in that it is quite easy okay and uh, quite flexible as well but uh, microsoft has redefined uh, the usage of the date and time field and they make it more easy now to input uh, the experience the experience of inputting the date and time in the date and time field so let's see that how microsoft has improved this experience okay so the thing is that for example let's see uh, that currently i have this date mentioned and the time mentioned okay if i change let's say this time to 11 am okay now i realize that uh, i may have uh, missed um, like uh, wrongly input some date so if i want to change the dates then it just roll back the time right and now uh, either i have to set it out again or if i am inputting uh, one more new record let's say okay then uh, for example it allows me when i click on this button it allows me to select the dates only right and uh, there is no way i can uh, input the time as well along with it simultaneously okay first of all i select this then i press space and then i press my time and so on okay or i have to put my cursor down then only by default it will give some time and so on okay so this is the problem uh, although not a problem but uh, let's see what exactly uh, we can do more into this date and time field to redefine our experience so let's go back to the vs code and uh, here you can see that i have a, a table and this is my field so let's do one thing there is a, a trigger in this field called on lookup right so we will make the use of this trigger on lookup and here what we will do that we will try to pass some uh, function into it so that uh, that function will return the date and time value and that date and time value we will pass into this field okay so let me create one function set date and time and it will take the input my date and time field okay so let's put the cursor here and click on this button quick fix create a procedure okay so you can see here that uh, i have now a uh, brand new procedure available set date and time which will take let me change the name so that uh, there is no confusion main date time okay so what it will do is that uh, when the on lookup trigger will run of this field it will run this function okay and which takes my field only currently this field is blank so i am passing this blank to this function okay this blank field to this function and it will return the date and time data 
so when this function will return something and that something is date and time value so i am passing the date and time value to my field only date and time okay so let's see what code we can write in this function to uh, to redefine our experience okay so for this i have to create a variable and that variable is date uh, let's say date time page okay and it's of type page and uh, if you if you type here date time dialog you will find okay so this is a standard page if you go to the definition of this okay so you can see here that it's a, it's a bay, uh, it's a standard object it's it belongs to microsoft system application okay and uh, you can see here that it extensible is false and the page type is standard dialog so it's not like a main page or a list page or a document page or a card page no it's not like that it's just a standard dialog page okay so microsoft has created this and we cannot extend it you can see here that it has two fields one field is date another field is time okay date value and time value data type they are using okay and if you come to the action part you will realize that you can see here that uh, the procedures are set date time get date time okay so like this function means that it will set the date and the time and this function will fetch out the value which is available in date and time column or date and time fields okay from this page and wherever you want to pass it it will return it okay so we will make the use of this functions and see uh, what uh, changes in the in the working style of this field gets changed okay so let's go back to our main table where we are writing our code so this is our procedure okay so let's do one thing first of all type date time page dot set date time okay you can see here that some other functions are also there set date okay so let's put uh, let's use this one first time set date time and pass the parameter main date time okay so what it will do uh, this function will run and set the values of date and time in our fields okay now after this function will run obviously we want to fetch the value from from those fields to our main field okay which is a part of this table so what code we need to write we need to write if date time page dot run model is equals to action okay then exit date time page dot get date time right simple code that uh, because as i showed you that this is a page and we want this page to run on the on lookup trigger of this field okay so when uh, we clicked on the on lookup uh, for this field this page will run okay and it will and uh, when we click ok on this page whatever the values are there in the fields of date and time it will just fetch out that and return that to my date and time field of this particular table right super easy so let's build our project and let's push our code Okay, close this tab. Okay, 
click on this button write down the name of your page this is main okay now click on edit list let's create a, another record which is let's say three whatever the name and now you can see here that uh, this lookup uh, button is coming for me I'll click on this and you can see that when I click on it my on lookup trigger will run and this date and time dialog page will open up okay so it's uh, it's not a normal page like a list page or a card page it's a standard dialog so that's why it opened like this form and now you can see that two fields are showing here date and time which I have shown you earlier that this page has two fields date and time okay so what we need to do is that we need to select the date and you can see that by default the time automatic automatically pops up and if I want I can change it or if I don't want I will not change it okay based on our need but the thing is that in case you do not know what format of time it will take so it will help you to automatically give you the syntax of the time value okay so you can make a changes here automatically and uh, uh, not automatically sorry but you can make the changes here if you want and uh, once you're done then just click on ok and when you click on ok you can see here that date and time field have your select uh, whatever values you have put it out there on that page now becomes a part of this field of your main page right so this is a small trick which i wanted to share with all of you that now onwards if you want like whenever you're creating a date and time field my suggestion is that you should go with this part because uh, the standard date and time field although there is no problem but somehow uh, not everyone is aware of that after selecting the date how they will put the time and in what format they have to put the time because they have to give the space and then only they have to write down the time manually and so on or if they do not know they just have to come to the second record and then only uh, that syntax will comes up and then they can make the changes there right so rather than doing that you just click on that button and automatically you can put out the values and this is one of the easiest way and the, it actually redefines the user experience of inputting the values in the date and time okay so this is just a small trick which i wanted to share thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much